It was awesome and amazing when the chairman, Nigeria Union of Journalists, or your state council, comrade Ademola Babalola, and chairman Ibadan Central Hospital, Dr. Abib Olamitoye led journalists in Oyo and Ogun states to a big and mighty edifice, Coswell Hospital, behind Shafex gas station, Leme Abeokuta South in Ogun state. In the meantime, the two leading Nigerian medical doctors based in the United Kingdom and Canada, who have invested billions of naira into the Nigerian economy via hospitals and hospitality in Oyo and Ogun states. Dr. Abib Olamitoye and Professor Leke Badmos have advised the federal government that in a bid to attract and sustain foreign investors, there is the need to fix insecurity that has been scaring potential investors away from the country and other challenges such as regular electricity supply, increasing carbon emissions, and strangulation of business growth and development in the nation. The medical doctors, Dr. Abib Olamitoye, chairman of Ibadan Central Hospitals and Academy Suites Ibadan and Abeokuta, as well as the founder, Coswell Hospital Abeokuta, Professor Badmos, an obstetrician and gynecologist who works in the University of Toronto, spoke at the grand opening of the multi-million Naira Coswell Hospital on Saturday, July 1, 2023, which also featured health outreach for scores of pregnant women in Abeokuta towards reducing maternal and infant mortality rates in Nigeria. It will be recalled that the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, put the latest figures of maternal mortality rate in Nigeria at 576 per 100,000 live births, which is rated the fourth highest on earth. The report stated further that each year, approximately 262,000 babies die at birth in the country, which is also rated the world's second highest national total infant mortality, according to UNICEF, currently stands at 69 per 1,000 live births. Olami Toye, a prolific writer and motivational speaker, told the gathering that Badmos established the specialist hospital with modern day equipment for residents of Abeokuta, adding that the founder has spent more than 30 years abroad and he decided to give back to the society. He said many wealthy Nigerians that are based abroad have not been coming back to the country to invest because of insecurity and the challenge of epileptic electricity in the nation saying if the federal government could fix the two issues, wealthy Nigerians abroad would not need to be told to come and invest in the country. For 20 years, I've been persuading my friend to come and establish here in Nigeria. He started the building eventually, about four years ago, and I come all the way from England to be a part of this beginning. And then we are very hopeful that the people that will come here will get tremendous value. The kind of value you see in England, in America, here in Abeokuta. So it's a happy thing for the people of Egbaland, for the people of Nigeria. So this health tourism can invariably be a thing of the past. If more and more Nigerians that populate the hospital environment in 
other Western countries, if they come home to establish a thing like this, then they will be just like he mentioned. It's not the government that will create hospitals. It is the government that will create enabling environment that will allow doctors abroad who have jackpotted over the years to come back and establish a facility like this. So this is just the beginning. More and more people will come. More and more people will come. So we expect more. So I talk to most of them because for four years I was the president of the Ibadan College of Medicine Alumni Association worldwide for four years. And the message has been that those who have spent 30 years and above abroad should come and invest in healthcare delivery system in Nigeria. But they have been saying Nigeria is not safe. But lo and behold, part of the enabling environment the government can create is security, electricity. And then the rest will be history. We are very creative, we are very innovative as a country, as a people. You understand? So, if, God, if we have good government, every other thing will come to pass. Professor Leke Badmos hails from Ambeokuta in Ogun State. He attended primary and secondary schools in Abeokuta. We both studied medicine at the University of Ibadan. We were classmates. Then he traveled to the United Kingdom and then Canada, where he became a professor. He has come back home to Abeokuta to give back to the society. He is made already. He is rich. He did not establish this hospital for pecuniary gains but as a payback for Nigeria and Abeokuta in particular, Olamitoye said. Badmos, who led journalists on facility tour of the hospital, said the project will reduce medical tourism as some medical doctors based in Canada have indicated interests to come to Nigeria and work in the hospital with the purpose of gaining more knowledge. Nigeria will be great Rome wasn't built in a day. If you look at countries outside Nigeria, most of what they did there were done by the citizens. The government just made rules, laws and created enabling environment. If all these things are put in place, people will do so many things. I trust this current government and I'm sure they will do their best. So my name is um, Leke Badmos. Um, I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist, and um, that's all I can say. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it's gigantic, but to be honest with you, it's, um, it's a dream. It's something I have thought of for many, many years, and um, it's a way of giving back to the community, especially after living for over 30 something years. Um, I think it's a thing this town deserves. I think it's a facility the country deserves. And if you are talking of the government, if you are talking of Nigeria, I think we all have to be looking of how we can help, how we can contribute, because we are all Nigerians, we are the government. And I'm sure this will go a long way to improve the healthcare facility of what this country. What makes it special? What makes it special? Well, it is special because it's, it's full of, it's, exactly, it is a specialist hospital. Um, what makes it special is in Abekuta, which is a cradle of knowledge. It is special because um, we hope people will be able to actually benefit from it. And it is special because there's going to be a lot of Western input. Well, um, it is a specialist hospital, but it is also a general hospital. First, it's a general hospital, orthopedic facilities okay, and internal medicine. So, and we hope people will be coming from overseas to work here. In fact, there are people already having interest here where I work who wants to actually come to see, to work, to help and to even learn from us. Knowledge is everywhere and this is what I've realized after crossing the continents. A couple of 
you know my origin is Nigeria. <laughs> you know I'm a Nigerian. So, <laughs> exactly. So, shall I say this is where I work? Where do I live? Toronto, Canada. And um, I've actually trained in, um, I trained in uh, England, in London, England, and also in Canada, Toronto, University of Toronto, where I work as an obstetrician and gynecologist, and where I've worked to, and as a chief of a program, as the president of the medical staffing association of the hospital, and I've sat on the board of the hospital, and um, I'm in a professorial position at the University of Toronto too. So you're telling so, us we don't need to travel out for medical? Well, we will travel out for holidays, but hopefully not for all medical things. I mean, it cannot, I mean, not everything can be solved by everybody and everywhere, but it should reduce the opportunity to come. In fact, I have a lot of patients coming from Nigeria overseas. For them, once they know, they don't need to be coming to see me. So that's so what, that. What are those things that will be done here that are different from others? Like I'm sure there are, there are things that are being done here and there in Lagos, in Abuja, and of course Abekuta is going to be included. I'm not sure whether I need to be going to all the details of the or the specifics of procedures, but some things will be done here. So after yes, all said and done, yeah. how affordable is this going to be for the citizens of Abekuta? Well, that's a very good question. People have wondered that, oh, you see this kind of place that, oh my God, you have to pay through your nose or through your, or pay your blood. We're going to make it very simple. The idea actually was covered by my father, who is now late, and you know he's the man of the people, and we make sure that it's affordable. And by my dear friend, Dr. Lamitoye, who has been very supportive, helpful, and you know what? I'm a, I'm a man of the people, and remember I told you, is to give back to this country, is to give back to Abekuta. So it has to be affordable, and we'll make it very affordable. As a Nigerian, we should be thinking about how to help and contribute to national development because I believe that we are the government. I am sure this will go a long way to improve the healthcare facility. Coswell Hospital is special because it is a specialist hospital. It is located in Abeokuta, which is a cradle of knowledge because the people will benefit from it and also because it is going to bring a lot of Western imputes, he said. The Oyo NUJ chairman, Comrade Babadola, on his part commended Professor Badmos for the big and mighty hospital edifice he brought for the people of Egbaland and Nigeria in general and thanked Dr. Olamitoye for persuading him to come and establish the hospital in Nigeria. He then urged the federal government to support the dreams of the two doctors in making the health tourism in Nigeria as one of the best in the country. Um, we thank God for the life of uh, Professor Leakey Badmos, who all, all the way from Canada, Toronto, Canada, came to give us this wonderful edifice called Coxwell Hospital in the heart of uh, Abekuta, Ogunte, capital Nigeria. His, his, his story is about you know, leveraging on what he has been able to achieve globally to now pay back the community where he grew up from in those days. So I want to also plead and appeal passionately to other people in diaspora, those who have been blessed wherever they are across the, across the globe, to please take a second look at their uh, wealth and pay back and kind of uh, give back to the society where they, they, they came from. Doing so will help us to mitigate and reduce drastically the issue of uh, uh, medical tourism that people went back upon annually. So for me and for journalists in Nigeria, we are proud to say that Cockwell Hospital is, is well equipped to take care of the health care needs of Nigerians. So people of Babakuta who say capital will enjoy this facility and we also pray that God will continue to strengthen this hospital and provide more for the donor, for the woman who has you know built this edifice, Cockwell Hospital for the use of Nigerians of all ages, of all uh, social status, whether you are rich or you are not too rich, or you are averagely okay, or you are even less, less privileged, you can enjoy this facility to get the best of medical care support. So the man that brought the professor, Leke Badmouth to Nigeria, Abibola Mitoye, should be commended for scouting for wedding Nigerians across the globe to come and invest in their father's land. So we thank all of them for making this dream reality and we wish them the very best of luck.
Coswell Hospital cultural dancers also was not left out to entertain the guests present at the occasion. <laughs> The event was anchored by Oyetayo Oladimeji, popularly called MC Handsome, and covered by Everyone Events TV.